So uh, when I sat down to start to write my speech, I was thinking I should try and explain the academy and more specifically our academy class to all of you. So uh, that led me to comparing the academy to a colony of ants. But then I realized uh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're too diverse to be ants in a row. Then I thought, burrito. The academy is like a good old Chipotle burrito. You know, like, I'm the rice, he's the salsa. But then I realized, who would want to be the beans? <laughs> I also realized that our personalities don't just work together, like in a Chipotle burrito. Well, they've changed together. There's something a bit more reactive, chemical, and exciting about this group. Let me back up. When I first walked into school my freshman year, I remember frantically pacing up and down the halls until I found a familiar face to help me find my way to class, as I had gotten desperately lost in this huge school. As I walked around the halls in circles, I just kept being asked over and over, oh honey, are you a freshman? I felt one thing, small. When I was I began to realize that there were certain classes in which I felt more comfortable, where I could be myself. During freshman biology with Mr. Davis, I remember laughing a lot, like when Tristan chased Austin around with the eyeball of a crayfish. And then, in Mr. Lentz's class, I remember feeling supported in our efforts to finish vocab packets in the Iliad test. In Miss Barber's class, I remember meeting people who were completely different from me like Andrew Colitis, who gave me an athlete's protein bar for my 15th birthday. <laughs> Freshman year, we began to change. I realize now that our academy experience has been an active chemical reaction. Then, I was a tiny atom that was starting to play a role in a much bigger picture. Chemical reactions are very specific. All the pieces have to fit together in a special way. To an extent, I will always feel small but you made me feel powerful even though I was small. Because in this big school, I was part of a community. What that actual chemical reaction, I wasn't quite sure until a couple days ago. See, I've always wanted to try new things and push myself to new limits over the past four years. That's largely thanks to all of you. Seeing the interesting activities and successes that you had allowed me to explore a potential I didn't know I had. Actually, I believe that none of us has explored our full potential yet. Seeing how far we've come in just four years makes me wonder about the impressive things that we're going to do in the future. You see, I believe that we are reacting much as would a firework. Much of our futures, in light of much of our futures, there's something unknown and fun about them. The sound, the color, the transformative effect they have on the sky, well, we don't know any of it. But what is known is that a great burst of energy is about to explode and light the future. Jump to junior and senior year. The pressure necessary for a reaction set in. APs, all-nighters that would stir our parents, test scores, all while maintaining friendships was hard. But by this point, we had a glue that held us together. Our teachers were the gunpowder and calcium that helped to deepen our metaphorical glow. They made sure that we would endure through distress. Mr. Pope, who made history fun and accessible even to people like me who don't thrive in history classes. Mr. Ratliff, with camera ready in hand, proud to take our pictures at school events. Mr. Beeler and Ms. Whitman, who came to support our athletic and arts organizations on numerous occasions. Ms. Barber, Mr. Logston, and Mr. Lentz helping with school plays. See, behind the scenes, our academy nucleus was only growing stronger. Along with the support of our teachers, we all brought something unique to our firework. Without the antimony in fireworks, the reaction would be glitterless, dull, and boring. Without people like Joey, James, and Ryan, we would be dull and boring. <laughs> Without the barium in the reaction, we would be largely unstable. Without people like Jesse Kono, Paige, or Carter, there would be utter chaos. We are a unique group of talented musicians like Jesse Zhu, Ginny, and Rebecca, great academicians like Leo and Carson, swimmers like Lauren Stigers and Olivia Burchett, and writers like Meredith and Ann. For your specific contribution, I thank you. Without every piece of our little chemical reaction, none of us would be the strong, confident, unique, insightful individuals that we are now. I would be an unreactive, uninteresting atom, floating, never gaining the skills or the power to burst. On that note, I would like to propose a toast to us. 
The four years of reacting together has finally reached its bittersweet end. Next year, use what your academy experience has taught you. Associate with other elements that you thrive with, aimed to always burn with the brightest color. But most importantly, remember the fun moments, when you acted in Shrek, when you cheered on the boys lacrosse team one last time, when we wore suits and ankle-revealing dresses at the Gatsby party, when you beat 2048, when we had, when we had Miss Katsunas for sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> Today, with your medallion, comes a small spark. This spark will burn for the next few months until you move on to college. There, you can decide the colors and the sounds and the effects that you want to have on the sky. You have the power to make a show greater than Disney's. This medallion marks that you have done your reacting and we have grown strong. Now all you have to do is explode. Thank you.